Hello friends and welcome to Logic Heap. As you all know that whenever you apply for any job, a round which you essentially have to face is an HR interview round or a personal interview round. So hereby we are starting with a very new series in which we are going to discuss most commonly asked HR interview questions and we'll try to draft a good answer for these questions. Let us start with the first question which is tell me something about yourself. The very first question and the icebreaker in most of the HR interviews. Tell me something about yourself often becomes one of the very scariest question in the interview. It tends to cause people let their guard down. It can actually make you sweat. But at the same time, not to forget that this particular question has the most potential for setting the tone of any interview, depending upon the way you answer it. So it is very important to answer this particular question with utmost perfection and confidence. So in this video, we'll try to draft a good answer for this question. Uh, but before that, let us try and consider two examples. Let us take the first one. I was born in Karnataka and I have two brothers and one sister. I am married and I have two children. I like to read and cook. We moved to Pune last year and I have decided that I want to start working again now that the children are a little bit older. Now let's take the second answer. I recently graduated from Sri Balaji University with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Information Management. I have studied extensively in the areas of web design, programming, database design and software project management. During my internship in the ABC group, I had the opportunity to assist with system design and implementation to improve both enterprise-wide integration and profitability. My hobbies include gardening. I would like to have the opportunity to utilize my skills to benefit your company and help your department to reach its strategic goals. Now if you look at both these examples, this particular example, the second one which is currently on your screen, seems to be more appropriate as far as a job interview is considered. So now let us try to strategize our answer and for that you should have a look and note down the following points. Do not forget to express your interest in the available position. Always expound on the ways that you have contributed in the past and how they relate. As in you should always mention your past experiences, your past achievements, any awards or recognition you have achieved during your internships or during your college. You should always start with a characteristic that is most appealing to the potential employer. As in if you're applying for a post in finance, you should always mention a characteristic or an educational qualification or a degree in the field of finance first and then move forward. Always include points which are not mentioned in your CV. This is very important. Being specific is the key for a perfect answer to any question. When it comes to introducing yourself, you should start with your strongest asset such as your education, your experience or any special projects you have gone through. Always remember that the hiring manager already has your resume so they also want to know a little more about you. But just remember, being specific is important here as well. You should not give a laundry list of skills. Just state a specific skill and mention their benefits, which it has benefited others in any way. Let us take a small example about how to draft a good answer. Hello, sir. I am Jennifer from Mumbai. I am a science graduate from the University of Mumbai. In my family, I have my parents and a younger brother. My key areas of interest include web designing and data handling and I have worked as an intern with Samantha Corp. While I really enjoyed the work that I did, I'd love the chance to dig in much deeper with such one such specific IT company which is why I am so excited about this opportunity with Crystal Software. Apart from academics, my hobbies include painting and gardening. This is just a small example about how an answer can be drafted. 
you can add or exclude any of the points from this answer depending upon your qualification or your experiences always remember that throughout your answer you should always focus on the experiences and skills that are going to be most relevant for the hiring manager when they are thinking about this particular position and this particular company i hope this video would help you to draft a good answer for this question for more such videos subscribe to our channel and can and connect with us on facebook for any suggestions or queries do not forget to comment below and share this video with all your friends on facebook thank you so much